crazy news. In the truck, yo, this lady, they, she, they stole a car and she got it back on her own. Jamie, play the veto to this. Gangster. A Detroit business owner taking matters into her own hands to track down a stolen car. The Mercedes Benz she shares with her boyfriend was taken early this week. Within days, she says she found the car and confronted the thief. Local Ford defender Sean Lay is live with how it all happened. And Sean, we should say this is not the safest course of action, but this is what she did, and she is was not harmed. Well, yep. Yeah, Bianca Chambers is her name you're about to see. She's no joke at all, calling police each time, police arriving each time, each time she saw this uh, stolen white Mercedes Benz. She tracked it for three days, found it again, found the person driving it, which led to this wild confrontation. Excuse me, you got that Benz out there? Yes, yes you do. You are watching Bianca Chambers surprising and then getting physical with the teen who Chambers saw driving this stolen white Mercedes, her boyfriend's white Mercedes that she drives before it was stolen from the shops at 8 Mile and Woodward on Monday. Chambers tracked the car and the teen down like a veteran detective. You're the dumbest criminal of all. I'm the wrong one. Cops going to find you. You're a thief. A thief. Chambers first put an alert about the theft on Facebook and Instagram. It lit up with people seeing the white Mercedes near Grand River in Greenfield, including her. Eight mile in Greenfield, I see him. I said, oh my God, this is my car. Chambers says the driver sped away. Tuesday, another sighting. Chambers owns Taste of Honey Boutique on Greenfield parked nearby the stolen white Mercedes with two people in it. Chambers reported the stolen car to Detroit police. Yesterday, the Mercedes spotted again outside a hair salon leading to this. Excuse me, you got that Benz out there? Yes, yes you do. <laughs> I feel like he just needed an old fashioned ass whooping because you're gonna stop selling people cars. And before the confrontation, Chambers slashed the tires on the Mercedes. I need to slash all four. I didn't want you to think that she was about to get anywhere far. Today was just, it was just the last straw. I just was not, I refuse to let this man joyride another day in my car. You will never steal from me again. Thoughts, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right well, to me. <laughs> first of all, first of all, um, I'm sure um, Bianca's boyfriend is very afraid of her. <laughs> Um, because I would be very afraid of her. Um, the thing is, first of all, as soon as I heard the name Bianca, I know that's gangster. Yeah, it's, yeah, just yeah. Like, it's just like Tisha or Tisha. Yeah, Those yeah. gangster names. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So she repped for her name and she repped for her car. But um, oh. I'll be honest with you, I'm glad it went her way because I like to actually see things like that, you know what I'm saying, where actually somebody gets exactly what they deserve. And um, shout out to Bianca. And if I ever need security, I'm gonna give you a holler. <laughs> well, let me let me say this. First of all, we obviously don't recommend anybody. Yeah, I'm not recommending uh, confront it. any type of thief or whatever like that. You know. Now, what's what's amazing to me, and this is just vintage Detroit, that they ain't even gonna try to hide the car. They just gonna take the car and ride around with it. They gonna chop it. They gonna nothing. Just gonna just it's their car now. Um, yeah. I'm surprised she didn't have a set of keys at this point where she could just go get in the car and break out. I mean, because she kept seeing the car. So, car, she got the keys to it, I would assume. I'm, I'm assuming, unless they left the fob in there, that she, you know, had keys to the vehicle. But um, it's, it's just, I'm glad she did. I'm glad she's okay, first of all, because that's very dangerous confronting the dude, especially in Detroit. You know, especially being a female confront the dude. But the other thing is, um, I think he may have learned the valuable lesson, you know, that people just had enough. People just yep. work hard for their stuff and they just tired of it. You know what I'm saying? Very dangerous on her part, but I'm glad they got the car back. But in the future, it's just a car. Don't ever chase, you know, after some material like a car. And, 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 and the real thing is that when brothers in the barbershop were real dudes, because they helped that sister out. They helped her, yeah. They, they helped, helped that sister out. So I want to shout out to those brothers in, the, in that barbershop. They were real G's in there. And they came down there and like, yo, you stole from this sister. And she was in heaven. And, and, they, and they didn't allow him to put hands on her. So that was, that was a real shout out to those brothers in that barbershop. Yeah. But, yeah. but those so funny, Rob, my godson, um, <laughs> uh, mother's name is Letitia, and she ain't no sucker at all. I told you. <laughs> because there's, there's, she certain ain't names, no sucker. there's certain names that it, it's just affiliated with gangster. Yo, you know, seriously. That's, and that, like, okay, Corey, every, everybody, Corey's bad. Bad. You know what I'm saying? Bad. <laughs> Even for a little baby. Even for a baby, you're bad. Bad. You got you know two, two rotten teeth for drinking juice all night. <laughs> 
Kool Aid. The street with the Kool Aid bottle. Man. Yeah, man. yeah. So man. He's back. Man. But you know, those are, it's just certain names that just for some reason mm. you just don't mess with those people. Yeah, it's Corey with a C. All the people know Corey with a C. 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 Corey with a C.